first video of Alexa Davey documentaries and today we are testing out the difference between getting M&M's from a vending machine and M&M's from a quarter dispenser. <laughs> but first before we do that, we have to get money. So let's head over to the to the bank, to the bank over there. We are currently at the bank, so we have my card here. Don't steal my information. But we are going to get one dollar bill, and then we're going to turn one of those one dollar bills into four quarters. So we can see which one is more affordable and more worth it. This is the vending machine. Bruh. This is the ATM, I mean. Unfortunately, the ATM is not able to give us one dollar bills, which makes sense because that would be really stupid for a bank to give us one dollar bills. So instead, we got five dollars, and we're going to go over to my buddy's workplace, Ace, or a hardware shop, to get this exchanged. All right, so we are allowed to really record in stores, so we're gonna be really secret, really secret, and um, we're gonna exchange this money. We just got banged. Oh, hell no, man. So, first up, we are going to put this $1 bill in a vending machine. And we're going to take these four quarters and put them into a quarter bank. So, let's do that in this lovely tea center right here. First off, this one dollar bill into the vending machine. Take one. Should buy me something? No. Stop me. You got money? We got the M&Ms. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, this is our first priority. Our second priority. This is right here. So we're gonna see if that equals this. I don't know how to use this. That's okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not Here's second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. All right, here. Here is our M&Ms. We just oh, here's our M&Ms. Here we have our quarter dispensers. At first glance, they look pretty close in size to each other, but this one does look a lot cleaner. These look like they've been rusty, crusty dusted for a little while. So let's pour these out. At first glance, we can already see these look a hundred times better. These are just crack-a-lackin' and are broken in half. So, to really tell what's worth it or not, we are going to count them. So... Fifty-eight and a half. 
58 and a half. So, it was very close time. These calculated out to be 55 M&Ms, and these turned out to be 58 and a half. So technically, if you want more by the very least amount, you can get, if you have four quarters, I believe a quarter dispenser might be a better option. But if you want a more sanitary and cleaner option, then I think the vending machine option would be a very good idea. But it all depends on what you have and who you know. So if you have four quarters, dispense it. But the good thing is, the good thing is that if you have dollars, you can't use them on a quarter dispenser. But if you have quarters, you can use those on a quarter dispenser and a vending machine. So the better option, in my opinion, is the vending machine. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this first documentary of mine. But, so now you know which one is better, the vending machine or the quarter dispenser. You decide.